Welcome to Behavioral Health Today, a podcast brought to you by the Triad Network. This podcast is designed to share trending topics occurring within the world and our communities and bring them a behavioral and mental health perspective. Welcome to Behavioral Health Today. I'm your host, Dr. Erin Elmore. My guests today are Katie Parker, Becky Fife, and Allie Callister. Katie, Becky, and Allie are the owners, creators, and leadership of two companies, Bloomfully and I Believe in Me, which offer innovative products and resources dedicated to providing real tools and habits that strengthen confidence in girls and women of all ages. Katie, Becky, and Allie are three moms who intimately understand the challenges of raising a family as they collectively manage 17 children. Leveraging their expertise in business, health, and wellness, these remarkable women united under the banner of I Believe in Me to establish an online mentoring program specifically designed for tween girls. With a combined experience of over 30 years, they've dedicated themselves to empowering girls, boosting their confidence, and nurturing their potential through community engagement, online outreach, and special events. In an era plagued by the negative impacts of social media and the alarming statistics on youth well-being, Katie, Becky, and Allie are more resolute than ever in their mission to guide parents and girls through the modern challenges that they face. Through the promotion of self-motivation, resilience, and the cultivation of daily habits for personal growth, they endeavor to fortify the hearts and minds of young girls everywhere. Drawing on their unique backgrounds and passions, these three extraordinary women serve as mentors, advocates, and beacons of hope for the women of the next generation. We're so excited to have Katie, Becky, and Allie with us here today to talk about developing strong girls and their online program, I Believe in Me. Welcome, ladies. Thank you so much for being here. Thank Thanks you. for having Thanks. us. We're Thank so excited. You. Yes. Before we get into everything, I am dying to know how all of you ladies met and if there's any backstory there. So maybe Katie, do you want to explain how you all got connected with each other? Yes, I'd love to. So one of the companies Bloomfully holds a couple different entities. And one of them is something that I started years ago called Singer's Company. And through that company, Allie was part of that as one of the directors. It's for elementary age. It's strengthening the confidence of girls through singing and dancing. And that's how I met Allie. And her energy is so strong and contagious <laughs> that she did well in that capacity. But when this kind of morphed into a new program that we needed, we saw a need in society for these middle school aged girls. So I reached out to her and said, hey, you know, we are developing this new program for 10 to 13 year olds. And I need your happiness. <laughs> she just, <laughs> she just oh, yeah. uses happiness. And I actually reached out to Becky first. Becky's a very close family member. She's not my sister. I would say I, almost. She's <laughs> my cousin. And we finish each other's sentences. And when it comes to children and raising children and seeing the trends in the world and recognizing those trends and adjusting our parenting. And we work in our communities a lot, both of us. And so we just, I don't know, I feel like we're two peas in a pod. And so I reached out to Becky and she enthusiastically was like, yes, yes. And I knew she would be because of her passion for just strengthening all children, but in this capacity specifically for middle school aged girls. So really this is a family company in a way, you're all cousins, which is wonderful. Anyway, we, yeah, we have others involved as well, but when it came to the core group of women that would be in front of these girls this is a very happy program. We want to instill happiness and to help these girls see that. And it does not get happier or more focused or deliberate living than Becky and Allie. And I would agree with my first impression of you guys being that way as well. When you came <laughs> on, I was like, these, these ladies are so bubbly and friendly. So I understand what you're well, saying. Yeah, that's such a good backstory of how you all ended up here. And my understanding is, Katie, you're the CEO technically of Bloomfully. Is that right? Yes, yes. Okay. And it holds two companies, Singer's Company and I Believe in Me. And so we're talking about I Believe in Me today for those middle school okay. girls. So Bloomfully is the umbrella company. And then you have those two sub companies. Yes. And the okay. purpose of Bloomfully is a place where girls grow. And okay. so it all encompasses the same mission. We're out to create that same experience for girls and, and empower them and help them. And so, yes, it's working and we are excited. This world That's needs so it. Great. And yeah. yeah, tell me a little bit about how you ended up going in this direction. How did you have a heart for young girls? How did you end up creating Bloomfully? And then we'll, we'll get a little bit more into the topic today, which is, I believe in me. 
Sure. It really did start with Singer's Company. Even though the tools are different that we use with younger girls, these families loved the brand and loved the result of stronger girls. And they kept asking, what about a middle school program? This is when the girls really start to make habits for their life and really get into these harder situations. So it was really just in talking with Becky, it was like, we've got to do something. We have so much knowledge in how growing and sharing your talents creates stability and strength in girls. We see it at the younger level in Singer's Company, but we know those same principles can apply. They just needed different tools. We know they didn't need singing and dancing. They needed more answers and real life problem solving tools for what they were going to be experiencing in this next phase of life. And so we knew it needed to be online so that every girl anywhere could participate on her own timeline. And so that's kind of how it morphed into this. And then once we started, I love gardening. And really it came as I'm digging in the dirt and all of these analogies of life, your garden of life and what makes it beautiful. I think all women in this company, we all have one common belief that every girl is needed in this world. Our differences are what make us so beautiful. And we have to highlight those and strengthen those and grow those things. And together, we are more beautiful than apart. And our differences are what we need to offer this world and grow and find confidence in that. And so that's it. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. And Becky, I see you wanting to add something. Please, yes, please go ahead. Yes. I just want to add too that Aaron, I mean, can you remember what middle school was like for no. you? horrible, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. part of the passion that Katie and Allie and I have is because we've been there. We're girls. We're girls who have been in situations where we didn't feel like we were enough. And especially in middle school, it was hard. And as the world has gotten more difficult and more challenging for these youth and specifically with social media introduced now, like I didn't have that in middle school and I had a hard time. And so I can't even imagine these girls who are going through middle school and what the things they might be experiencing and how they could be better equipped just with the mental health tools or the mindset or a perspective that those who have gone on before can turn around and share and be like, Hey, this will help. This will help. And I have four daughters. You know, my oldest is 25. My youngest is in middle school and I, and they're all different. And so I've just been able to see like firsthand and in my own personal experience, what a difference it makes when we can put our best foot forward and focus on, you know, our energy into something positive instead of just complaining about the problem and feeling like a victim, like we can overcome. And these girls need to know that they can overcome whatever lies in their way. I think that's so important, especially since the world is changing so much and, you know, the, the, challenges that these girls have to navigate is even more complex than when we were in junior high. So I right. love that this resource is out there and I think it's really, really needed. Certainly, you know, that some of this is the role of the parents, but it helps, as you know, so much have somebody else telling you things at that age. So that's yes. so great that this we, is a resource there. Yeah. We are definitely back up for parents. My brain works logically and kind of matter of factly and about what, four years ago, and we started developing, this was before the pandemic, but to be able to kind of see out on the horizon, what social media, the potential harm and other things in society could do to these girls. And when you think about it, it stifles individuality sometimes, because even just the principle of being a follower of someone, it kind of denotes that I'm looking to other people to determine who I am or how I should dress, or how I should talk, or how I should look, or choices I should make. And as a mother, it's like, oh, no, 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 no. You want to be one that creates. Because in the creation, and the growing, and the sharing, that's where confidence comes. And the individuality, and exploring that, and cultivating that, and growing that, that's it. And so what society offers right now, and, and the statistics are showing that trying to morph into what they want is not bringing happiness for these girls. And so I believe in me has a lot of happy in it. We take a very happy approach to 
how fun life can be. And let's just discover who you are and grow that. That's beautiful. Yeah. And I mean, you're mentioning things like helping girls with just normal navigation of anxiety, possibly, probably depression, social interactions, just the struggles of being that age and developing where you have one foot in childhood and one foot in adulthood. I'm wondering if there's any other trends that you would say you typically help these girls with and specifically post COVID, I'm sure the things they're struggling with are heightened or maybe even different than what we struggled with in junior high. So Ali, do you have any insight into that? Or do you want to add anything on that front? Yeah, just in thinking so many of these kids had to be homeschooled and they lost interaction and social connection with so many of their peers. And so one of the tools we use is we call it be the sunshine where we're teaching them how to be a friend and how to be happy and how to introduce themselves to not only peers, but talk to teachers when they need help or they're struggling with something. And we have different phases of be the sunshine because with the pandemic, they lost all of that. As a society, we were forced to turn inward and kind of pull back from each other. I mean, we had to stand so many feet apart from each other and that did such wonders to our brains. It was so bad. So we're, we're kind of closing that gap and, and helping the girls pandemic or not just know how to stand up and to be happy and to face the challenges of life kind of head on through these different mantras, through these different tools. And in that will help them build confidence. And like Katie said, be able to kind of share it with their peers and other people around them. Yeah, absolutely. So it sounds like would you say this is almost like a social skills and support building program? Was it, If you had to narrow it down, how would you describe it? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of everything. It's kind of, we help them build social skills. We help them build study skills. We help them realize and know their self-worth to know that they don't get their sense of identity from social media or from their friends or from a boy heaven forbid they end up liking a boy and do certain things or dress a certain way for somebody else that we give them. No, you don't have time for that. You don't have time to worry about what other people think of you. It's all about what you feel is right for yourself and what you like and not, not getting approval from all of these other things in their life. So, so yeah, we give them social skills, and life skills and all the skills that they need to do. Studying get skills, through. everything. Yes, yeah. Everything. Mentoring. I think it's kind of a self-awareness program. Like mm. we're trying to teach yeah. these girls that they have a choice. They have a choice to be who they want to be and to be proud of who that girl is. And then to go share it. Like when we, when we talk about the garden, it's such a perfect analogy that Katie, you know, it was brilliant. It fits so well because these girls have a choice. What seeds are you going to plant? What is your garden going to look like? You control your garden and what comes in and out of that garden gate is your choice. And the world is, you know, at your feet and the possibilities are endless. Yeah, that's, it is really a great analogy. And what I'm loving about this is my background is working with kids and teens and I had a private practice and the hopelessness and the disconnect and the despair that these girls, well, everybody, but you know, I saw a lot of young tween or teenage girls and it's, it was just so heartbreaking because that's when you need your friends the most. That's when you've been looking forward to junior prom or senior prom or, right. you know, all of these events that were just stolen from them and you can't get that time back. And then they just escape deeper and deeper and deeper into their phones, which that's not what it was meant for. It's not healthy. It's very confusing as far as social dynamics. And there's just so much despair and loneliness. And so during that time, I wonder how we're going to help these girls and these people post pandemic. And so I'm loving this program because this seems to be a perfect fit for a lot of needs that were created and heightened during that time. Cause it is such a very formative time. And, you know, normally you would learn these skills on the go or at school or with your friends. And all of that was stolen from this particular generation of girls. So mm-hmm. I'm just loving how it's almost like a wraparound approach to support the parents and give them the experiences and the wisdom and the insight that was just robbed from them due to the pandemic. It's so true. The word hopelessness, just like it breaks my heart. And the statistics, one of the studies that I was reviewing recently, it says one in three high school students and half of the female students 
will reported feelings of sadness and hopelessness. And that's up 40% since 2009. And it's so true and it's mind boggling. And one of the things you mentioned it is their time. Something that we have power over most of the time as individuals is our time. In our first episode, we teach these girls is, you know, who are you? Let's really, let's really dissect. What do you like? What's your favorite color? What do you like to do? What do you want to go do? And really talk about who they are and then talk about, okay, how much time are you going to give this? And when you start pursuing those things that are you growing your talents and sharing, recognize the distractions like the phone. You mentioned the phone. They dive deeper into their phone. You don't have time for that, girl. You don't have time. And to help them realize, wait, this isn't going to do anything for me. In fact, actually, it's bringing me down. You know, it's wilting my garden. It's bringing shadows into my garden. Wait, wait, wait. I need the sunlight. And helping them realize how they spend their time is usually in direct parallel to how they're feeling inside. Even though you might be studying for that math test and who wants to study for a math test, but the harder you work at that and then the result is you do better, that feeling of confidence in their little life and their circle of school and friends and you know those things that are they're pursuing at this time in their life, that's where confidence comes. And it doesn't matter what other people are doing. It doesn't matter what, you know, what she got on her math test. It doesn't matter what app that girl's following. It doesn't matter. What matters is what did I do with my time today to grow my garden and to help them feel that, to feel that how I spend my time and how I choose to spend my time can directly affect my happiness every day. I can control my happiness. We'll be right back after word from our sponsor. Whether you're a longtime or first time listener to Behavioral Health Today, you're probably familiar with Triad, the company that brings you this podcast. But you may not know that Triad also hosts a community for current and aspiring behavioral and mental health professionals, featuring trending content and education and career resources, all for free. If you are a behavioral or mental health professional, or you're studying to become one, join more than 80,000 people on Triad by claiming your free professional account today. Visit us at hellotriad.com slash BHT. That's hellotriad.com slash BHT and join the triad community today. Yeah, what I love about that when I'm thinking as you're saying that is I think sometimes there's this delicate balance trying to protect girls. And in so doing, sometimes we keep them small and we don't give them a sense of purpose or we don't empower them enough. But then on the flip side, sometimes we empower them too much and we don't really protect their femininity. And what I'm loving about this garden analogy and the tools and skills you're giving is it's the balance of both. It's a very feminine analogy. A lot of the growth examples we hear are very masculine. It's very linear. It's like one block on top of another and there's no rest. There's no ebb and flow. Mm -hmm. That's all very feminine. Right. And so the garden I love, but it's also you're empowering them and saying, you need to take ownership of what you're doing with your life and with your time. And you have a purpose and there's a reason why you have skills that we need. And I think that's a message that sometimes just gets lost, especially in today's current climate in America of like, literally what is a woman? Are we feminine? Are we not? Are we, you know? And so I think I love this message that you're giving them because it's very true to what we know developmentally about women and and girls and it's empowering in an appropriate way. And I love that. And just like the flowers in a garden, women are different, right? No two flowers are the same. They grow different heights. They have different smells. Their petals are different. Their colors and so are women. And every single girl, woman is beautiful because of who she is. Right. And so it's, it's amazing, Erin, how the garden talk resonates with these, with these girls and with women in general, because flowers are beautiful and they're all different. And there's so much to learn from just looking outside our window at a garden at nature. It's so, it's so awesome. Mm -hmm. And there's meaning and beauty when the cycles of life happen, when there's death so that the flower can be replanted and reborn the next year. And yeah, so I I love that it's capturing that. So good job on the analogy, ladies. I like that. (laughs) (laughs) Now help me understand a bit of the, the physical format 
or the practical format of this program. So I'm, I'm understanding a lot of the meaning behind it and the tools you're giving. And I know it's online, but what does that really look like? So if I was a parent or, you know, a tween that was engaging, what would that look like? We knew when we developed it, we wanted to be on a very private platform so that no outside sources could pop up at any time. When a girl joins I Believe in Me, she gets her own private logins. And so it's a very personal experience. Her parents can be right there with her. They they can spark discussion. But as she logs in, there's the main section planting the seeds. This is kind of the meat of the program. And they're done in weekly episodes. And they get to choose the topic of the episode. We suggest an order for progression, but they can choose. And they're about 15 minutes a week that they just watch like the first one that's taught is they're taught you are a girl with gifts to grow and share. And they're, t- and they're taught about their soil in their garden. So when you are going to start a garden, you can't plant it in rocks. You can't grow in dirt. You have to have very healthy soil or just soil that has enough nutrients to spark growth. And we explain to these girls that, and I believe in me, their soil is their mind and their heart working together. And so that's kind of their guide, their compass through life, you know? And so we do something, we teach them something about soil checks in every area of their life. So this planting the seed section talks about kind of the meat and builds upon that each week. Then there's another section as they log in, it's called, how's it growing? It's kind of like the chit chat, like the Dear Abby section, where if they have a question or they're having a problem at school, they can, they can type in like, Hey, what would you do? Or if they just want to share a success, I made the soccer team, you know, and we message back, yes, you know, way to use your time and really to grow your talents. And then once a month in the how's it growing section, um, Becky actually does a great job in leading out in these. We talk about different topics and we have different guests on and girls, it's a voluntary, well, it's just optional. They can hop on the Zoom call for that month. And we all just chat about this topic and, and it's so great. They're all from all over the country. And they just realize, oh, there's other girls like me. Oh, that girl, you know, had an issue with a friend. Oh, that was just like me, you know, and we Mm -hmm. keep it light. We keep it happy. We keep it normal, you know, like life, you know, challenges are normal. So that's, how's it growing? And then we have a whole bloom video section that are tiny little videos from our contributors. And they cover all sorts of topics like healthy habits, like body changes. We have a wonderful contributor that really describes what's the changes going on in a girl's body during this time and kind of matter of factly in a very sweet, kind way. And it's not scary. You know, we, we keep it really happy. There's hair, makeup tips, kitchen, baking. I mean, all sorts of things. So these girls, we don't want them to, to dive into our website and spend hours and hours. No, we want them to have ideas spark about things they want to try and do and motivate them and pump them up and cheer them on. And then they go and do. And so that's kind of how it's set up. It's very individualized. It's very safe. And the the sources that we glean from are very happy and very appropriate for this age. It's nice to have something lighthearted in a world where everything is so intense. And especially when you're a tween, everything is so intense anyway. (laughs) So I love that it's very friendly and lighthearted. And it sounds like you can engage at different levels individually, but then if you do want a group environment, because I feel like a lot of well, all of us are lacking that group connection more so after the pandemic. And so it sounds like they could still engage in real time, right? Yes. The interactive Zoom call is a wonderful opportunity for for these girls to feel community Mm -hmm. and to feel like they belong. And we've actually seen almost every month, these girls start offering each other support or each other advice. Like, like it's the cutest thing. We just kind of realize, okay, we're going to sit back and they're going to teach each other. They're going to help each other. We've, we've had girls share experiences that were hard for them. And then before we even say anything, another girl's answering her back, like, Hey, you know, that happened to me too. And so it's really neat to see this community kind of evolve and this place for these girls to come and feel like you belong and we're glad you're here. And you can meet a friend who lives all the way across in Florida to Hawaii, to wherever, and you have common ground. And ironically, that's really what they're looking for when they go deep, deep, deep in their phone anyway, but you're providing it in a healthy, productive way. And we kind of wanted to be a part of the solution of being a positive voice on a screen, right? Because these girls are getting plenty of negative voices on a screen. And while we definitely want them to delay social media, 
you know, we teach them, you're too young, like wait till you're in high school. This is too early, but we want to be a positive influence. If they're going to be looking at a screen, then come here, come find Mm -hmm. us because Mm -hmm. it's happy where we are. And we've got lots of sun to share. Oh, I love that. Now, does the program ever end or is is it something that you go through and then you kind of graduate from, or is it really just this open resource and the girls connect with each other and then move on naturally? Both. So you can join, I believe in me and it's intended, like it's about a year program, but a lot of our they don't want to end after a year because how is it growing the interaction and there's constantly new bloom videos being added. So there's new content still, but the core message, they can repeat, they can watch the episodes again. If they're having friend drama, they can go watch the drama episode. Mm. If they're having, if you know, if they want to refresh on their study skills, cause they're struggling and they can watch the study skills. If they're having, you know, issues about their body, not quite feeling quite great about things they can watch you know, the episode all about the body, the greatest gift we've been given. So it's, it's ongoing. It can be ongoing, but it's meant for about a year. Okay. Okay. And is it a subscription model, free resource, one-time purchase? How does this work? Both. Yeah. It can <laughs> be a, one, a one-time purchase, but it's also, we have a couple different membership subscription levels where okay. you can do the bloom box subscription where you get all the content online, but you also get a little fun box in the mail each month that kind of reminds you you know, you'll get a little plant to grow and, you know, it has a little, a mantra card. That's the you, cutest thing. Yeah. Or you get makeup tips, you know, and it has a little, another mantra card in there just to, it really is a life cheering program. It is so happy. The testimonials that we receive from both parents and girls, it always includes something light, uplifting and happy that it makes them happier. They've seen changes in their daughter for the better for, you know, for they're more resilient, they're more self-motivated, they're happy, they're smiling. And that's, I feel like that's the ticket of I Believe in Me as a very happy and healthy approach to this time in their life. I mean, that's everything you could want for, I'm sure, as a parent of a, a young tween. Girl, Especially you now, know, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, they're going through a lot. Their generation is going through a lot of economic and, and large world-based struggles. So how nice to have a place they can plug in and just, just be, just be a girl and just learn yeah. from other women yeah. and other friends. That's great. On our last zoom call that we had with the girls, our how's it growing? They were sharing stories of how like our different mantras or tools were helping them in their life, being happy and studying and all the things. But it also, one girl shared that she was able to get out of a situation where she didn't feel good about where she is. Her and her friend mm-hmm. were watching a movie and she looked at her, I think they were like at somebody's house and she didn't feel comfortable with what was being shown. And instead of, you know, making it awkward or embarrassing for not only, you know, herself or, you know, the friend's house that they were at, she just politely looked at her friend and say, Hey, do you want to go? And they both excuse themselves out of the movie. So it's so wow. cute that they're sharing these experiences, not only with each other, Cause that would give somebody else the confidence to be like, Oh, I know how to walk out of a, a movie because Susie did it. And she showed me how, but they're learning confidence. They're learning that like, Hey, all of these tools that we're giving them because of the garden theme, they stick in your brain forever. And even my kids know I've got littler kids and I've got my two older boys. They even know some of these mantras. Cause I'm like, okay, hey, three strikes and you're out. Like that was a bad friend choice. Or like your heart's kind of telling like this show is icky or what you just saw, you know, on TV, that word wasn't great. So let's actually change the channel type thing. So they're learning these things to get out of maybe not so great situations. And that's the cool part about the interactive part of the program. And this, how's it growing is, is these girls are sharing how they've stood up for themselves and, and shown each other what it means to be strong. Because our mission at I Believe in Me is strong minds and strong hearts and strong girls. And that Mm -hmm. is like the essence of everything that we're doing. And so when they can see that put into practice, they're like, we can do anything. This is amazing. You know, so I love the how's it growing part of the program. It's so fun to see them. Yeah, that's beautiful. Folks, pardon the interruption, but we'll continue this discussion on our next show. This is your producer, Peter Finger, and I want to thank our guests, Katie Parker, Becky Fife, and Allie Callister, for coming on to our show today. For more information about Bloomfully, please visit bloomfully.com. 
For more information about I Believe in Me, please visit bloomfully.com slash I Believe in Me with I Believe in Me, all one word. And lastly, I want to thank our listeners for tuning in today and we'll look forward to seeing you next time on Behavioral Health Today. We appreciate all the support from our community. And if you like our show, one of the best ways you can support it is by giving us a five-star rating and leaving a review. Behavioral Health Today is a podcast part of the Tribe Network, all rights reserved.